Hey everyone, just before I start this video, I just want to talk about this Discord server I just joined recently. It is for Bakugan Pro uh, TCG players in Colorado, more around Colorado Springs, but generally, generally in Colorado. Um, so if you are interested in playing the Bakugan card game, uh, check out the Discord server. Links in the description. Uh, the next meeting for like uh, for the playing Bakugan uh, we have is on the 16th uh, Monday. Um, so yeah, just join the Discord server. Check it out if you live in Colorado. And I hope to see some of you there. Welcome back everybody, Bakuzilla here, and today we are back for another Bakugan unboxing and review, and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the Bakugan Evolutions Dragonoid Brawler Pack. So, taking a look at the box here, we can see that it is a Walmart exclusive, so you can only buy this pack in Walmart. You got True Metal, and then you got a picture of Dragonoid there, looking pretty cool. The Bakugan Evolutions logo, you got... Regular Dragonoid and then Neo Dragonoid right here in a ball. Down here we got Dragonoid Brawler Pack. And then on the back is everything you get. So you got Platinum Dragonoid, Neo Dragonoid, all this stuff you get. And then Core Rollout. Anyways, I'll be back when I have this guy or these guys out of the box. So here is everything out of the box. Starting off with the cores, you get a Helix which is plus 600B minus three attack, a orange shield for plus 300B, two green fists, both that are plus 150B plus one attack. For the cards, you get this really cool looking gate card of Dragonoid about to uh, sock you in the face, uh, but that's fine because he's Dragonoid, so he's allowed to. Um, Wow, 800 on a gate card, that is a lot. Well, 800 Pyrus, 100 Aquas, 0 Ventus, 400 Chaos, 200 Orlis, 300 Darkus, and Green Fist at the bottom there. For the character cards, here we have Platinum, or Pyrus Platinum Dragonoid. It is a Helix Green Fist, 500B, 1 attack. If you land on a Helix or a Green Fist, you can add another extra 1000B. Uh, this is okay. Those stats are pretty, uh, you know, pretty average, a little bit on the lower side. Uh, maybe with the Helix, you can get up that B power a little bit more. But with that Green Fist, it's not going to be too, I don't know. It's going to take a lot of work. Even with the best Green Fist, you can still get it up to a nice 1650 B power. So, you know, maybe just, I don't know. There are better Bakugan that you can use that have the same ability, but in, but have just like a, uh, I don't know. Like there's a 600B guy that also gains 1,000 from a Green Fist. So it's not the worst. So if you have this and you don't have anything else, that's better. Yeah, go ahead, use it. Not, not the worst, but you know, there are better. And then uh, we got a missed package here. Uh, the box comes with Neo Dragonoid, and we got a Dragonoid Evo ca uh, character card. But, uh, you know, it is what it is, I guess. It's, I don't know what it says. This is Dragonoid Evo, but it's Neo Dragonoid, and that's Neo Dragonoid on the back. So I don't know what's happening, but whatever. Uh, also, just uh, gotta say again, Platinum Dragonoid looks pretty cool. Loving all the fire effects. Looks sick. Uh, so, Pyrus Dragonoid Evo comes with an Orange Shield Green Fist, 300B, 5 attack. Uh, if you land on a Orange Shield, remove a core from an enemy, and if you land on a Green Fist, uh, add a core from the field to this Bakugan. I'm not sure if it's from to this Bakugan or just any Bakugan on your team. Anyways, not that great, unless you're running like a, a Magic Shield, and you land on a Green Fist, you can put a green fist uh, magic shield on this guy, but uh, that 300B power is not the greatest. I do like that attack. Five attacks, pretty good. I guess you, there's some cases where you can make this work. Anyway, that character art is sick looking. His legs and his tail are just completely made out of fire and his wings look really slick. 
really cool looking Dragonoid. Really nice. Cool. Now, for the Bakugan. First, let's take a look at Platinum Dragonoid. Oh, perfect rollout. Let's take out his arms. Uh oh. I always have a problem with these Dragonoids when we first open them. Hold on. We just gotta push a little. Don't wanna break it, but just gotta. There we go. It's always very stressful. Okay, there we go. Hopefully, I didn't damage any of the paint, but at least we can move his arms better now. Very tight joints, but whatever. Here he is. Now, this Dragonoid does have different textures. Also, it's platinum, and platinum Bakugan usually have transparent plastic, but this just has a solid plastic, which is different. And the texture on the back and the tail, let me check, hold on. I got the original right here. Yes, okay. So this like pattern here isn't usually on Dragonoid, but it is now. And it looks pretty cool. Cause they gotta spice it up, you know. They can't just resell you a Dragonoid, they gotta spice it up, change it a little bit. Make it buy it, which is why I bought it, because I'm trying to collect every Pyrus Dragonoid. Because he's the main character, so why not? Yeah. Looks pretty cool. Very accurate. I mean, I think his chest, I don't know if his chest would be green or if they changed it. But usually his chest is green. Yeah. Also, gold faction symbol. His B power, I'm guessing, is also gold. Right there, yep. No, whoops. Focus, 500B. Yeah, not too shabby. Looks good. Okay. Next, Neo Dragonoid, which we have his, no, we don't have his character card for. There we go. Let's see if I can't get out his horn. There we go. No manual bits on this guy. Just straight up, core Bakugan. And it is just a Neo Dragonoid with a different color scheme. You got the gold horn. Where's the gold faction symbol? There it is, gold faction symbol. And then, where it says B power. Where's his, oh, there it is, right there. 300 B power. So he has the same B power as Dragonoid Evo. I'm not sure. I'm so confused. They're like, they seem like, and it includes the Dragonoid Evo cores. So I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. It's weird. Ah. Now, now my favorite Dragonoid design, but it's different. So I, and I enjoy that they change it up every once in a while. And Legends finally went through and changed up a bunch of the designs for the Bakugan. Which is good. Yeah, I mean, nothing really much else to say. Actually, I should go through and close these guys up because I always forget to do that. So, if I remember correctly, feet in, head down, oops, feet in, head down, oh my god, feet in, head, oh my god, please. Okay, feet in, head down, arms in. Okay, I messed that up. It should be tail, arms in. So, feet in, head, oops, uh-oh. Come on. Feet in, oh my god, please just stay. Tail, tail, arms. Okay, there we go. And then for this Dragonoid, put in his arms, put his head down, push him down, fold up the legs, push down the wings. There we go, and then lock it all in with the tail. Anyways, that's gonna be it. It's outro time.
So if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.